एंड वेलकम टू माई इंजीनियरिंग हब दिस आर नेटर चीफ इंजीनियर रवि गुप्ता टूडे यू कॉन लर्न लर्न अबाउट एच पी एस ल्यूबल सर्किट इन टूडे वीडियो वील ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ द एच पी एस ल्यूबल सर्किट लुक लाइक इन टूडे वीडियो वी ऑल्सो लर्न दैट वॉट आर द चेंज इन द फिल्टर कार्टेज ऑफ द एच पी एस ल्यूबल सर्किट एंड देन टू द एम ओ पी पैनल we'll try to understand that how this mop panel look like and how we can do the troubleshooting from this mop panel and after that we'll see that what are the feedback which we receive when the system is in operation and what we should do in order to check the troubleshooting so friend this video is going to be interesting please tune in last i guarantee after watching the, this whole video you will have a clear knowledge of the HPS Lubal circuit. This HPS Lubal circuit is a very important thing. Why? Because this hydraulic power supply unit is responsible for developing the servo oil pressure of 200 bar, which is responsible for operating the fuel injection, exhaust valve actuation, and cylinder lubrication. So this Lubal circuit, you should know how this work and how it look like. So the first missing thing which happened here is that the oil from the sump is coming here and it is passing through this lube oil pump. This lube oil pump will develop the pressure around 2 to 4 bar. That pressure oil is going and will pass to the lube oil cooler. This lube oil cooler will then go to the full flow filter and then it will enter this hydraulic system. So from here. 2 to 4 bar pressure oil will come which is pressure is been developed by the lube oil pump and after passing through the primary filtration now it is going for the cooling and lubrication of the bearing and the piston so the 2 to 4 bar pressure oil is going for the bearing and piston cooling lubrication a part of that oil is going now to this hydraulic connection which is entering here so a part of oil will go for a further filtration which will be a auto backwash filtration in which there will be two filter one backup filter and one auto backwash filter this auto backwash filter will be of 6 micron and it will further filter the oil and then the oil will go to the axial pump unit so the oil after coming 2 to 4 bar getting further filtration to 6 micron filter it will go to this axial pump this axial pump are engine driven as you can see this is the engine and this is the through gear arrangement it has been engine driven this 4 pump and 2 pump is electrically driven so the oil of 2 to 4 bar is coming here and it's waiting now this axial pump are the positive displacement type of pump the main purpose of this axial pump is to develop the pressure so this pump will develop pressure from 2 to 4 bar to 200 to 300 bar so the inlet will be 2 to 4 bar and outlet will be 200 to 300 bar depending upon the type of engine so that will be the discharge this pump, axial pump, are basically variable displacement type of pump, swash spread type arrangement, which I will cover in the next video. And this electrical driven pump is also same type of swash driven pump, this axial type of pump. So the purpose of this pump is to develop pressure of around 200 to 300 bar. That pressure is required and acting as servo oil for hydraulic cylinder unit for activation of the exhaust valve, fuel injection and cylinder lubrication. Now let's see here the basic outlet as I have told you from some the through pump and after passing through the cooler and then through a primary filtration it is going and entering the engine unit hydraulic section and after 
the oil sulfur is used the oil is returned back to the sub now this is the lubal cartridge this lubal cartridge is basically of 10 micron earlier now it has been reduced to 6 micron for better performance so as you can see the 25 is the filter manufacturer mesh score which were mentioned before for 10 micron but now it is nothing like that you have to see this id 134116 is the id for 6 micron and 134006 is the id for 10 micron so you should be always using 6 micron filter for your new engine now let's see this mop panel hydraulic circuit so as you can see the here is a four engine driven axial pump and two electrical driven pump when the system is in normal auto operation one pump will be the controller and other will be the follower if you have three acu unit then acu1 will control the number one pump acu2 will control the number two pump acu3 will control the number three pump and a number four pump will be controlled by ECU. Now, the pump, these are engine driven. This is a suction coming 2.3 bar. This charge is here through this non return arrangement and is going here. And this charge tapping is taken here is around 196 bar, around 200 bar. And from here, it is going to the exhaust valve actuation, fuel oil booster, and cylinder lubrication. Like this it is going for individual cylinder unit the same is for the electrical driven pump two to three bar oil is going coming here the pressure is developed from discharge valve it is going to the same line and then going to the for this cylinder unit now this electrical driven pump will not allow the engine to work up to its full performance it will allow the engine to start and run up to 15% of the MCR. After 15% of the MCR, this engine driven pump will take over to further increase the RPM. Now this is the bypass valve. This bypass valve is provided for a specific purpose. This bypass valve is need to be tested every 3 monthly or 6 monthly depending upon your engine type. Basically, this bypass valve is tested when the engine is in stop condition. This bypass valve, when the engine is normal operation, it will be in a closed position. This bypass valve is provided. Suppose there is a blackout. So when there is a blackout, the lube valve pump pressure here will be zero. After that, this is a non return type of valve. So there will be no discharge to the discharge side. But as I have told you, this is an axial pump which are positive displacement type. So this positive displacement type pump needs some oil, otherwise it will get damaged. So in that time, this bypass valve will fail safely open. And the oil which is in the discharge line will drain from here and it will go to a suction of the pump side and it will help the oil to get a churn here. So preventing damage to the this pump one more time i will tell you this bypass valve is provided for a specific purpose in case of any blackout this bypass valve will open as there is a blackout there will be no pressure on the suction side the discharge valve will stop close but these pump are the positive displacement pump so it needs some oil in order to smooth running or preventing the damage so the oil on the discharge side from here will drain through here and it will provide some oil suction so that this axial pump doesn't get damaged. Now this is a safety valve which is provided which will lift if there is a sudden inadvertent rise in a pressure of a system. Now this is a HPS event. This red line indicates the high pressure point 195 bar 40.4 milliampere. The blue line indicates the suction side 2.7 bar 14.9 milliampere. This is the feedback and this is the swash plate position. So as you can see here, 
each and every parameter you can see in a MVP panel and if you can find any abnormality you can do the necessary action now suppose if you are not getting any signal first you shift for the loose connection and after that also if you are getting no signal it means something wrong with the pump and then you can change the master control and follower mode and then you can act accordingly depending upon your need so friend if you have learned something from this video then please do like the video and please do share with your friend and if you are watching the video till now i request to all of you please take the members it will be very beneficial for you you will get a lot of video which will be beneficial for examination oral and for interview also you can share your doubt directly to me and you will get connection with me so please take the membership friend if you want to learn more about the engine you can go to the playlist you can find each and every video regarding alpha lubrication fever valve hcu hps and everything which will be beneficial for your examination purpose thank you friend have a good day